Thank you very much. Steffi, congratulations. You played about as well today as I think you can play. Wouldn't you agree? Oh, definitely. I think I made very few unforced, mis unforced errors, a few mistakes. And uh, the other thing was that she, she was very impatient from the beginning, so I had an early break and I felt more relaxed after that. She has a tough time playing against you, doesn't she? Oh, yes. We've played, I don't know, five, six times. And every time she had a lot of troubles with my slice backhand, which gives her a lot of trouble. I kind of play very low, which uh, is very difficult for her strokes. A little bit of that in it, I suppose, but also you played pretty well yourself. I mean, you were hitting the forehand very well today, and that's the key, isn't it? Yeah, that's <laughs> been very important. I mean, especially against Jennifer, uh, I started to, to play a much better match than in earlier in the beginning of the tournament. And uh, I did show that today, too. Steffi, what does it mean to be back at number one in the world to you? Not that much, <laughs> I have to say. It never, after being there once, it never really meant that much after that. I mean, the rankings are not important anymore. I've reached everything that I possibly could have reached, and uh, so it doesn't mean that much. How about the way that it happened? Is it kind of a, a bittersweet thing for you? Well, uh, I don't really think about it. I try not to think about it. I mean, people think about or talk about it, and I'm just um, trying to push it out of my mind because that's nothing that I really could have done. What is important is that you're on the edge of another possible Grand Slam tournament, Steffi. What about uh, potential? A finalist for you. I mean, Mary Jo Fernandez, you've never lost to her, and you have a very good record also against a, against the rancher. rancher. Yeah, they're, they're two similar players, but um, like you said, against Mary Jo, I've never lost against the rancher. I've played this year already five times, so we've been having a little bit of a rivalry there. But um, they're both very tough. I mean, they both fight a lot, both baseliners, so um, I do have to be my best. It has been so easy for you, relatively speaking, this French Championships. And you've been through a lot of tournaments that have been easy for you. Is that a good thing or would you have liked to have had tougher matches? No, I did have my one or two tough matches, especially against, uh, against Jennifer. I mean, she didn't play bad, but I had to really play well to, to beat her in, in two sets. And against Eva Maioli, I had a tough one. I didn't play very well, but I won in two sets. So there have been some tough moments. Finally, Steffi, you, of course, won the Grand Slam, very nearly won two Grand Slams. That, those, I wonder if you th look back at those days and whether you consider that you are a better tennis player now than you were then. Yeah, I definitely think so. I mean, people say I was a better player then, but I don't really think so. And, and people who follow my, my matches closely, they, they realize it, that um, I've be become a more complete player than I was at that time. And I have better oppo oppositions, obviously. So it's been more difficult, and I think I've, I play better tennis now. The standard of women's tennis is just a lot yes, better, isn't it? a lot better. Steffi, congratulations and good luck Thank in you. the final. Thanks. Back to you, Robin. Thank you, Cliff.